made an application which synthesizes music in real time. To create music, we also need to analyze music. So that's also an aspect that we learned in this internship. The two aspects of our application is the Sangat app and the MIDI synthesizer. The Sangat app is for playing accompaniment to the musician in the background. There are various tals which the, um, the musician can use. So let's play Ek Tal. This will be playing in the background. We can also add Tanpura. So I'll select A3, Sapa. We can also add audio effects like um, to um, make it in tune with the singer. We can change the pitch and we can also change the tempo of the application. Second aspect, the MIDI synthesizer. Musician can select from uh, these instruments so he can play the clarinet, flute or harmonium. Uh, let's play the harmonium and he can select any of these keys which will play that particular note. So towards the left, lower in frequency, it sounds a bit more deep. And later on, it becomes higher in frequency. It becomes more shrill. So this, uh, this display here is the actual waveform that's being played. For harmonium, it looks like this. For flute, we can see it's more like a single sine wave. And for clarinet, it's like this. So uh, actually, this doesn't sound like exactly an instrument. That's because this is just the pure tone, uh, uh, which has been created by a uh, combination of sine waves. Uh, and to make a real instrument, uh, we need to uh, consider more aspects, like uh, at what frequency it's being played. Uh, according to that, the composition also does change. Uh, using the custom option, we can actually create a sound by uh, making our own uh, sine wave composition. So basically this is for, uh, this button is for adding sine waves to our custom sound. So now we have three sine waves. I'll adjust their weights. So now if I play this custom tone, we can see that it's a composition of three sine waves. And uh, I can add any amount of sine waves and uh, their weights and it will generate sound based on the composition of these sine waves. Vibrato effects is similar, but instead of amplitude, it works on the frequency. So the frequency kind of uh, wax and wanes. We were working with a cross-platform library, uh, Juice. So it compiles differently on different systems. There was a feature which allowed to open modal dialogues which were dialogues which would open up and you could not click anything else except for the dialogue. So this wasn't supported by my system for some reason and Juice was not compiling this part. So when I looked into the source code, there was a if statement. It said, don't compile this if it's not supported. So it was not being compiled on my system and hence I was getting the error. We were using this microphone and uh, we, uh, it was just a uh reducing the quality of music we were generating. So we were not aware we, uh, that yeah. we are using it in yeah. our code, but it was uh, automatically included. So we just need to take care of it that we don't, uh, we include the only things we are, uh, you know, using it. In the code, instead of a zero, we put a two. So that was including the uh, noise from the microphone and including it in our uh, audio output. So we were getting this white noise along with our output and we weren't able to figure out what it was. And then uh, with the help of Parito sir, we went through the code and we actually saw that we forgot to put a zero. We put uh, we put a two instead. So that was including the microphone and that's why we were running into the error. From the very beginning, Parito sir was having meet. Sir would always uh, like keep online meetings so that we could interact with him. And he would uh, help us with the theory very much. Uh, we both are not uh, people with backgrounds in audio processing or instruments uh, so sir very much helped us from the beginning explaining how sound works how uh, effects can be applied to sound and all the theory was taught to us at the beginning there were certain aspects that we being non-musicians we had no idea about but after going to the professor who knew about music he gave us a lot of insights and then we realized that we needed to change certain aspects of our app to make it actually usable by musicians So our completed project now has the source code of it is hundreds and hundreds of lines. And if I would have seen the source code before the internship, 
I couldn't have believed that I would be doing this. Like, it's a lot of not just the length of the code, but also the programming aspects that we're using it. They're all very new to us. But over the course of this internship, we've learned very uh, many programming aspects, learned about C++, and um, now it looks something that we can actually do. So now we're confident when we look at other people's code that Yes, this is something that actually can be done by us. After the completion of the project, we got to know that uh, by Paritosh said that the thing we implemented is called something called hard real-time programming system. So we wouldn't have believed it that we, we both did it.